What's up you plebs, this is your Total War Master and today we're starting a short series that's gonna be a tutorial on hot seating. Now it's gonna start for this first episode, it's gonna talk about how to set up everything to be able to hot seat. Now, first let me tell you about Medieval 2. So Medieval 2 vanilla is not available to be hot seatable, but in your um, expansions, so for example all of these four, Americas, Britannia, Crusades and Teutonic, there are these things called hot seats. So if I would go into America, we're gonna go into multiplayer, hot seat campaign, and now you can switch on multiple factions, which will basically make it so you can play multiple factions. Um, now, how is this gonna work? Well, first of all, you wanna set up your console because someone has to be an admin just in case if someone something goes wrong so first of all you want to go to this website total war center I will have the link in the description basically you want to go into your main medieval 2 file uh, well folder not file and you'll see medieval 2 dot preference you want to double click on that and you're gonna see scroll down and see hot seat. Now you want to go to this website and copy and paste this down here. Now you want to set up your password. So admin password is going to be how you're going to log in into console. So for the sake of the video let's write um, fuck. After that you also want to include this in the same thingy. Then you save it. Here we go. So this makes all of your um, all of your expansions pretty much ready to be hot seated. Now you want to then go back into your expansion if you're the admin. Let's go into Britannia this time just to show that we are actually doing all of them. Also before that what you might want to do is make this read only so it doesn't change your passwords and preferences or something like that. I kind of like that. <clears throat> you don't need to do that, but optional. Anyways, you're going to multiplayer hot seat campaign. Now, over here, you pick the factions that you want to be played. Uh, if you want to add additional factions, you have to go into the data uh, into mods. Then let's go into British Isles, data, worlds, maps, campaign, parallel campaign, and then into DS, D E S C R underscore strat. So for example, if you want, like this is maybe not the best example because um, Britannia doesn't have any additional factions, but I think in Teutonic, for example, you can unlock, I think, HRE and things like that. Basically, they're gonna be probably an, an unlockable. You just um, cut them out and paste them over here. Just imagine that it was something like this. You just take this, press Control X, Control V, Control S, and you're done. This basically gives you all the factions that you want to be played, to be actually able to be played. Over here, if it's flashing, it means it's gonna be played. Uh, now, difficulty-wise, um, you must know that difficulty only applies to the first faction on turn order. So what I would suggest is to always have it medium-medium. We only recently learned that, but it's quite an important one. All these settings, you should probably use first passwords. All resolve battle basically just means that if it's on, that every battle is auto resolved. If it's off, you, up, you have the option to manual resolve versus others. Um, no battle time limit, it's up to you. I would disable the console. If you disable the console, it does not mean that you um, cannot get into console, it just means that you need a password for it. So, if we start over here, also, I could probably make this slightly less loud. Okay, so you're here, England. See, turn one. You can go into turn two, which is basically I mean, it's not turn two. It's Ireland, Wales, Scotland, etc. Now, uh, regarding the console command, if I just want to write toggle fuck of war, it's not gonna write. Uh, it's not gonna work. So what you want to do is log on and then your password that you find. So ours was fuck because. Why not? And then you can do all your stuff. Toggle FLW. Oops. Um, be careful, of course, of the um, size of the letters. Anyways, <clears throat> then you can do pretty much everything with the console console. If you want to know more about the console console, there I have a video about most of the cheats for Medieval 2. 
uh, feel free for do, to do that. Anyways, um, how this is gonna work? Let's say we are Scotland. We do all of our shit, like we do attack this, like we build stuff, whatever. Doesn't really matter, we're not gonna go into detail what's good and what's bad at this point. Anyways, what you wanna do is end the turn. We're gonna save it, and then in this case we would save it as Norway underscore one. And what you would do after is basically just quit the game. And then you can go into British Isles. So, Medieval 2, Mods, um, British Isles, and then you go into Saves. You see Norway 1. Now, wherever, like if it's on Discord or whenever, you just drag and drop this into the chat. And that's basically it. That's how you're gonna play the hot season. And again, when you get the turn, you drag it from the Discord into here or download it into anywhere and then just drag it into here you go into the game press load game and press that uh, now regarding the retrofit 1.1 uh, 1, which is basically a mod that makes vanilla hot seatable it looks like this uh, first of all if you don't have kingdoms over here you will need to make it but it's really easy uh, first of all check if your medieval 2 has .exe at the end or not if it does not have it um, you go here and you basically make a shortcut and then you rename the shortcut to kingdoms. If it does have it, you basically do the same thing, but you name it to kingdoms.exe. Uh, that's the only difference. So for example, I don't have kingdoms, let's say. I go into click on medieval. It's in Slovenian, so excuse me. But basically this means make a shortcut, make the shortcut over here and then just rename it. Easy as that. Uh, so. After that, you probably want to go on your internet browser and find Retrofit 1.1 mod. This one should work fine. Uh, there is a small chance it will be recognized as a virus, but trust me, it is not. Basically, you download it, you install it into your mods over here, and then you'll have it over here. Uh, now you'll have to do the thing with the password again in the medieval 2.retrofit this one does not like all the expansions work from this preference but this uh, retrofit one only works from over here uh, again you have all the saves over here in your retrofit saves and then from there it's pretty much the same so that's how you set up and basically technically pay, play a hot seat we'll go into detail of what is good what is bad in the game later on but yeah, that is it for this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, make sure to join the Black Army, like and subscribing and commenting down below. You can join me on Discord and Facebook. And until the next time, fuck off.